Amazon QuickSight allows you to quickly and easily analyze data and derive insights. In this session, we will take a look at how you can explore the new cost and usage reports generated by AWS billing in Amazon QuickSight. We are going to utilize the manifest file generated by AWS billing and ingest the data from the S3 bucket where it is stored. Once we do this, we can take a peek at the data by going through the data prep flow, where we could select or deselect fields in the data set, rename these fields, or add filters. Let's name the data set and get started with our analysis. First, let's analyze the use of AWS products in our account. We click on the product code and the unblended cost fields and let Autograph do its magic. Autograph creates a bar graph being the best representation of this data. Given that the costs represent a dollar amount, let's change formatting on that field. Now let's resize the visual so that it becomes one among the many we would like to include in this analysis. Let's now focus on the primary driver of costs, which seems to be EC2. Simply clicking and focusing on EC2 in a new visual lets us easily create a filter on this product. Notice that the filter option contains a list of the values that constitute the product code category allowing us to add more visuals if needed. Now let's pivot this chart to take a look at the distribution of costs within EC2. We can do this through the field wells, which allows us to change the product code field to the instance family. Notice that there are charges that are not specific to an instance type. Let's add a filter to remove these charges for now, which is easy with the exclude action. Now let's add costs to this graph, which lets us view the distribution of costs by instance family. For a quick visual overview of this breakdown, let's make this a pie chart and position it right beside our first visual. To make this chart more meaningful, let's also add a drill down on the instance type, which will allow us to drill down to the instance types that compromise each of the instance families. From our analysis so far, it is clear that memory-optimized instances constitute the bulk of our EC2 spend. Let's now take a look at optimization opportunities. First, let's look at the pattern of monthly spend by instance type. To do this, let's create a visual that displays spend over time. Notice the autograph automatically switches to a line chart when we look at this data. Let's reuse filters that we had previously created to narrow this down to EC2 costs and then pivot the chart to display information at the instance type level. Let's also switch to a stacked bar chart to help us quickly identify the trends in the data. We see that usage across instances has been steady, with some event in the middle of the month that caused an overall drop. However, there are some instance types where usage has been growing, for example, the R3 to XL. Let's see how we can optimize this. To look at optimization possibilities, let's explore our current reserve pricing setup by creating a graph of usage by instance types and pricing term. Looking at the graph, we seem to have reservations covering most of our usage, but there are some exceptions like the R32 Excel, where usage has been almost three times the reservation. So an actionable insight here would be to look at why this specific instance has been seeing higher usage and what reservations might help us optimize this cost. Let's make a quick change in the previous visual based on this insight so we can highlight the key finding to the viewers of this analysis. Now that we have analyzed this data, we can share it either as an analysis to enable collaboration or as a read-only dashboard for consumption. A dashboard enables others to see the same insights, uh, but with interactive exploration capabilities including filters and drill downs. The dashboards and analysis can also be consumed on the mobile device through Amazon QuickSight iOS application. That was a glimpse of how Amazon QuickSight allows you to easily explore complex data. 
Upload your own data set and get started today.